AI refers to a computer system that is designed to be intelligent, able to understand its surroundings, make decisions, and act. Beyond the broad notion of AI, and, more significantly, how to apply it, engineers have a lot to think about. The outcome will differ depending on the application. However, constructing a successful AI system necessitates navigating the entire workflow and concentrating on more than just training an AI model. So, what does artificial intelligence AI, imply for engineers? Data preparation is what AI stands for. Data is at the heart of most AI applications. And it turns out that one of the most important components of AI success is data preparation. Without data preparation, you risk wasting a lot of time pondering why your AI results are so poor. Data preparation entails more than just having a large amount of data or even preparing it all to ensure consistency. It's all about human insight, which is what makes data useful. It's about thinking about adding synthetic data and extra samples to data sets. It's also about automating the time you spend labeling to get it clean, labeled data faster. Modeling is what AI is all about. We can say that AI is more than a model. However, you must still construct the finest model feasible. Here are some things to think about. Are you considering machine learning or deep learning as your algorithms? Maybe it's a mix of factors. Starting with a full set of algorithms and pre-built models puts you ahead of the game, allowing you to leverage the work of others in the AI community rather than starting from scratch. Tuning your model is where you take your time to find the best set of parameters that will result in the most reliable and accurate model. It takes time to develop an accurate model. Fortunately, increasing the amount of hardware available can greatly reduce the time it takes to train models with a wide range of parameters, input data, and layers. The term AI refers to the creation of a system. The result isn't the model. It's a component of a larger system. Let's take the case of a robot that is responsible for delivering packages. When you add AI to a robot, you have to make sure that it gets along with the rest of the elements. Multiple sensors are used for perception, localization, and path planning. You have physical systems in place to manage speed and direction. These components come together to form a fully functional system. And, it has to perform flawlessly in all circumstances. The term artificial intelligence refers to the creation of a system. The outcome is not the model. It is a component of a larger system. Consider the case of a package delivery robot. When you add AI to a robot, it has to work in harmony with the rest of the system. Using several sensors, you can perceive, localize, and plan your path. Speed and direction handling are controlled by physical systems. These components combine to form a fully functional system, and it has to function flawlessly in every circumstance. Finally, AI entails deployment. You've honed your model skills. You've put your system through its paces. It's past time to release AI into the wild. Because AI is used in so many different applications, there are many different deployment requirements, ranging from ECUs in automobiles to edge systems in chemical plants, enterprise-based systems in manufacturing, and cloud-based streaming systems to collect data from numerous locations. AI can be included into any aspect of these systems. As a result, you'll require AI models that can be deployed across a variety of platforms. When it comes to implementing AI into systems, there's a lot to think about. It's critical for engineers to focus on the complete AI workflow rather than just constructing a model.